morning it's a very bright sunny day in Adelaide being a Saturday the first day of the weekend I thought let's do some plant care to start up my day so I've got here my monstera plant that I've cut and put it in water for the roots to grow so it's time for me to change the water as that has to be done every weekly so let me do that Can you see the roots? The amazing rooting system has been developed while the plants, the cuttings are being in water. Um, I've cut these um, cuttings uh, like a month ago. In my house plants video, you would see uh, me cutting those uh, plant off. Oh, this is my Polos curry, uh, in English I think it's called jackfruit curry. Uh, cooking in the slow cooker since um, the night before because I put everything in the slow cooker and let it cook for like 8 hours on a low setting so it'll be delicious. Just checking how my plant babies are doing. That's my routine. Usually after breakfast and doing a bit of things, it's my coffee time. I need a coffee in the morning. That's the only coffee that I drink for the day. So let me make my coffee and start the day.
since we are making polos curry for our lunch, I thought why not make some go to color sambul for the polos curry to accompany with. So being uh, spring, the go to color uh, yard is doing really well. So I picked some fresh go to color from our yard so that can be uh, prepared for our lunch. Oh, this is my uh, little string of hearts that are um, propagated from the mother plant. So just giving a little bit of a spray because they're babies. Uh, it needs a lot of care. Hopefully this will grow to a bigger plant. You have seen this um, area. That's my little propagation corner in the laundry area. Lunchtime come. We have red raw rice. This is called as ratuke kuluba, and some delicious polos curry and course with polos you always need some lentils so I've got some lentils curry like a paripu curry in uh, Singhala then to accompany with our garden protocol sambola and a boiled egg and of course you need some papadam and chilies fried chilies so this was Yamo. Okay, let's do a little bit of organization here. This is our snack drawer and where we have most of the snacks here. So my son knows uh, what are the times to use those snacks? Uh, so he's in charge of this drawer. He wouldn't misuse it. He hasn't misused it so far. I hope um, that'll be the way that he acts in future. So let's do a little bit of um, uh, rearranging and clean up because uh, I haven't cleaned up this drawer for uh, a quite a while. So it needs some uh, clean up and then let's jiggle a bit and put the things back. Okay, let's see what we have here. We've got some chocolates, bits and pieces of chocolates because we have had most of those before. And see what we can do because that whole box is taking a lot of space. And this jar, I think that can go because the bits and pieces of crumbs.
this container would have all our spreads like peanut butter, jam, Vegemite, uh, Nutella, those things. So I've put all the spreads in this container so they're tucked in together. So you see, it needs a little bit of a cleaner. Then I've got some roasted chickpeas. This is if this was brought from an Indian um, shop. Um, so we'll instead of the huge jar, we'll put it in a, a smaller jar um, and use it up. Now always go and check your what you have there just to make sure nothing you've got anything expired you can check it out so that's what I'm doing here if I'm going through each of the containers I'm making sure um, what we have is what we really want to have anything not needed can go in the bin as you can see this was well and truly expired back in february that really should go in the bin that too So this little container, they comes in various sizes. I bought it from Kmart. We've used um, a slightly wider version of this container to store uh, my son's Lego bricks. Uh, so I've used this for like snack tubs because the, in, the internal partition, it's you can take it out and customize according to how you want. So um, I have uh, like various size of these tubs used in everywhere in my house like some in the kitchen some in the snack drawer uh, a couple in like I said for my son's Lego and let's put it back
and the reveal. So this is my organized snack drawer. Let me know in the comments which part of my kitchen or area that you would like to see me organizing in my next video. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of plant care again. Uh, so this is called the Swiss cheese plant. Uh, I don't like the way how it sits here. Um, the, 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 the way, the, how the plant goes around this um, plastic thing. So I'm just trying to see whether would there be a better way for me to arrange it so it looks more aesthetically pleasing. So um, let's give it a try and see. I think that works better. What do you think? So these little clips that I got with uh, my orchid plant a couple of years ago, I'm just gonna place it there because this might need for this plant to hold on to this stem. And I'm gonna leave this in our ensuite. I think it looks pretty on that corner. So that's it on today's video. Thanks for watching my video and uh, please consider subscribing and pressing the like button. Leave me a comment and like I said, until next time, see ya!